Well, I know I was going to get into trouble starting my uh, website, um, called myself MSI Guy, but I had a specific goal in mind to uh, to fix up the MSI, and I, I didn't see a lot of good material online um, concerning the uh, vintage MSIs, and what, uh, there were a few few videos out, but I, I thought they were lacking, and uh, I, I thought, you know, me getting my MSI ready um, would be a great great video series, and, and um, uh, I hope you'd enjoyed it. Um, but, uh, I have a few subscribers who are going to miss some of the videos I've been putting out, and they're asking, uh, if there's maybe anything else, um, that I could be, uh, videotaping. And, um, I do have another project. So, the MSI was an easy project, and I was putting the videos out daily, and, um, I don't have any project that I could be shooting video on daily right now. I do have a, a, a project that I'm going to be working on. It's going to take some time. It'll be several month, months uh, uh, to get it uh, to where I want it to go. Um, but I can give you a glimpse of what I'm doing. And uh, maybe I can uh, try to put out some videos weekly weekly, or, or uh, every once in a while. Um, I do have a, like I said, I do have a project um, and it's based off of the notion that little PC boards from China are basically dirt cheap these days. And so these are some uh, boards that I've done in the past. Um, you know, for a set of 10 boards, it's $10, right? They're a dollar a board. And in fact, I had some boards run recently, and they were having a sale, 10 boards for $2, which is just insane. Um, so uh, I have a, a bunch of projects that I've done in the past. Uh, here are my Kim Uno boards. Uh, uh, I, these are the type of boards that I like to do where I um, uh, use Eagle uh, PCB which allows you to do uh, uh, an 80 by 10 uh, centimeter board and uh, or 80 by 100 millimeters and um, I separate them with um, some fat uh, silk screen, and then I have a bandsaw in the garage, and I can bandsaw these up and make individual boards. So uh, the board costs me a dollar, and I get all these little individual boards. Um, and so I can show you some of those projects that I've done in the past uh, that are these little individual circuits. Um, and I've got quite a bit of those. Uh, some of the other boards I've done. Um, uh, has some uh, cutouts to make it a little easier on the bandsaw, uh, but again, the same same idea. I have a bunch of little boards and um, uh, have made uh, different projects in the past. Uh, some of them, uh, most of them are Arduino based, um, and so anyway. Uh, so the idea is um, to do a new board. And I have a design in mind, and I'll show that to you. And it's based off of the idea that I've always wanted to build my own CPU. And a lot of people have done that. Um, uh, fellow, uh, couple, couple years ago, called the Big Mess of Wires, uh, did a, a TTL-based CPU uh, at Maker Fair. Um, more more recently, uh, Ben Eater on uh, YouTube has been doing a great uh, series on uh, building a, um, a computer based off of these little breadboards. And um, while I like the idea, um, I don't like breadboards. <laughs> I really don't like breadboards. Um, they're hard to build. Uh, they're very unreliable. Uh, they end up large in size. Um, this is a, a, a CP, a, a ALU unit for a um, an 8-bit uh, CPU, and it's very flaky. Um, it's not running very solidly. Um, and I thought, well, what I should do is basically take uh, some of the good work that that Ben has done, and try to modularize it. I kind of want to make a Lego style approach to a uh, TTL CPU. So you can imagine a bunch of boards. You might have one board that's the clock board, 
one board that is the RAM board, one board that maybe register A, register B, um, you know, an ALU, control logic, and, and to be able to kind of put these together in a Lego fashion and be able to try uh, different things out. It's a little bit like the, the, the Z80 um, to the, what is it called, the RC2014 that's, that's a, a project uh, that, that I'm sure a lot of you know about uh, where there's a, 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 a motherboard, much like the S100 motherboard, and, and there's a little bunch of little cards that go into it. So, uh, so imagine that kind of design where you have uh, a, a tiny little backplane, but you have different components of your, of your CPU. So the backplane is actually the data bus, and then uh, your, your clock generation card, your register card, your RAM card, your ROM card, uh, you know, ALU, and, and, and then you could try different things out. So I might have ALU1, ALU2, ALU3, uh, try different things out. Um, just a more modular approach. And I don't have to mess with all these stupid little wires, <laughs> which I really don't like. Um, and so that's the project. Uh, and I'll show you a little bit online and show you kind of what I've uh, been up to and where I might be going.